Batman is one of the most iconic and popular characters in pop culture, having appeared in comics, movies, television series and video games. Since his creation in 1939, many people have questioned whether he is a hero or a fascist vigilante. In this article, we're going to explore that question and analyze whether Batman is really fascist. To better understand this issue, it is important to define what fascism is. Fascism is an authoritarian political ideology that is characterized by the suppression of individual freedom and the promotion of nationalism and militarism. It has its roots in early 20th century Italy and was led by figures such as Benito Mussolini and Adolf Hitler. Fascism has been associated with totalitarian regimes, violence and oppression, and is often considered a threat to democracies. Regarding Batman, the question of whether he is a fascist has been debated for many years. There are those who argue that he is a vigilante who works outside the law, taking justice into his own hands and enforcing his vision of justice. Some see Batman as a symbol of an authoritarian state, which promotes violence and repression rather than protecting citizens' rights. On the other hand, there are those who argue that Batman is a defender of justice and individual freedom. He is a hero who uses his wealth and skills to fight crime and protect Gotham City. Batman is seen as a symbol of resistance against evil and a protector of those who cannot protect themselves. To determine whether Batman is a fascist, it is necessary to analyze his actions and motivations. Batman is a complex character who has been portrayed in different ways over the years. In some versions, he is shown as a dark and violent character who uses extreme methods to fight crime. In other versions, he is portrayed as a more humane hero who works within the law to fight evil. Batman is often compared to other comic book characters who are considered fascists, such as the Punisher and the Comedian from Watchmen. These characters are seen as violent and authoritarian, with a worldview that promotes violence over justice. However, Batman is different from these characters in many ways. One of the main differences between Batman and other fascist characters is that he does not promote a specific political ideology. While fascism is an authoritarian ideology that promotes nationalism and militarism, Batman lacks a clear political vision. He is not a defender of the state or the government, but a defender of justice and individual liberty. Another difference between Batman and other fascist characters is that he is not motivated by hatred or a lust for power. Whereas characters like the comedian in Watchmen are motivated by violence and the desire for control, Batman is motivated by justice and protecting the innocent. He fights crime because he believes it is the right thing to do, and because he himself has suffered a great loss from the murder of his parents. Batman is a complex character who has his own flaws and limitations, but he is driven by a sense of responsibility and a desire to make a difference in the world. Another important feature of Batman is that he works within the law. While other comic book characters are portrayed as vigilantes working outside the law, Batman works in partnership with the police and other agents of justice. He is a defender of law and order, and believes that justice should be served within the confines of the law. Also, Batman has a very strong sense of morality. He does not kill his enemies even if they have committed terrible crimes. He believes that justice should be done fairly and that everyone should be entitled to a fair trial. Batman is a champion of individual freedom and human rights, and he strives to protect the people of Gotham City from the threats that surround them. In summary, while there are arguments that Batman is a fascist character, a careful analysis of his actions and motivations shows that he does not fit into that category. Batman is an advocate of justice and individual liberty, working within the law to protect the innocent. He is motivated by a sense of responsibility and a desire to make a difference in the world, and he doesn't promote a specific political ideology. While Batman can be seen as a complex and sometimes dark character, he is very different from other fascist characters who are motivated by hatred and the lust for power. In conclusion, Batman is not a fascist character. He is an advocate for justice and individual liberty who works within the law to protect Gotham City. While there are debates and discussions about his nature and motivations, a careful analysis of his actions and motivations shows him to be a hero rather than a villain. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Leave your like to help the channel more and more. A big hug and see you next time.